Hi Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're gonna do your reading here in a moment. Just a few things I just wanna mention before we get started. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. Details on how to win a free personal reading. Basically, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. Okay, cards already dropping out there. Also, um, in the description box, is an extended reading link. Um, it will also be in the comments as well. So I will look at the next three to four weeks energy moving forward from this reading. I treat it like a personal reading. And I'm also gonna look at future love, um, you know, as far as new love and also the person on your mind. So uh, with that, more details later, let's get started here. You have a card that dropped out here. We have the Eight of Swords. So I feel like this is an energy, you may have this person on your mind, or you may be feeling like, you know, stuck. Um, also feel like this could be somebody here trying to figure out a solution. So this could be the person you're dealing with. Um, it could be an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. But let's go ahead and pull the mutual energy here between you and your person. I'll then uh, pull your person's energy, your energy, We'll do some clarifying as needed. Um, and at the end, I will pull some hidden truths, okay? What's on your person's mind. Okay, so let's see what the mutual energy is here between Virgo and the person on their mind. All right, let's see what we get here. Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Tower. And let's pull one more here. Okay, we got the world. And actually, I'm going to pull four more as well. Got Aries energy there. You could be dealing with another earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. We have two of cups here. We have the six of cups as well. All right, and this one popped out too. We have the eight of pentacles. Okay, interesting. Bottom of the deck here, we have the five of pentacles. We've got two fives here and the five of ones. I feel like at this moment, you and this person, there's something going on where you and this person are not on the same page. Somebody here is feeling left out in the cold, okay? But I feel like with this energy, we have the four of pentacles and we have the seven of pentacles. Okay, I feel like you've kind of pulled back from this person. I don't feel like you're giving a whole lot to this connection. And it may be because you've got the five of pentacles here. You may have felt like this is someone who wasn't giving to this connection, right? You weren't getting what you needed. So I feel like you kind of pulled back your energy. Five of wands also feeling here. Either there's been, there's competition, some drama around this connection, or I feel here, some of you, I feel like there could be a child involved for some of you, not all of you. And I feel like you've kind of just, um, you're kind of sitting back here is what I'm getting here with this energy. Now you have the tower and you have the world card here, okay? Feels like there's some sort of shift here that's happening, some sort of new beginning. I'm gonna clarify um, this tower energy. We're gonna see what it's about. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Taurus, uh, Scorpio or Leo. We have the Emperor, what's interesting, and we have the Queen of Wands. Uh, could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, but I see someone here taking action. Okay, we're going to see what that's about too when we clarify. Yeah, sorry if I'm tapping on the cards, I, I do it unconsciously here. <laughs> you got the Two of Cups. Okay, so someone, it does feel like there is mutual love here in the connection. It just feels like there is something here that either got in the way or there was some sort of conflict, could have even been an argument between you and this person. And you have the Six of Cups and you have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like this person's been thinking about you, definitely a soulmate energy here. Uh, some of you could even work with this person, but I see, you know, got the world card here. I'll show you here the world card, the six of cups, and you have the eight of pentacles. 
So I feel like there's some sort of shift here with the tower that's bringing about some sort of new cycle between you and this person. So we're going to see what that's about. So um, before we do that, before we clarify that, I'm going to pull your person's energy and your energy. So let me get a couple shuffles. I already shuffled, but let me just get a couple shuffles here on camera. Let's get one more. And let's cut the cards. Okay. Okay, angels and spirit for your guidance. Please show me what's in Virgo's energy. What's in Virgo's energy? Okay. Yeah, look, it showed up again. We had the five of wands energy. So I feel like Virgo, like right now, you're just feeling like you and this person are not on the same page. Yeah, look at that. I have to cover the card. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll do this. We got the, uh, the, the lover's card and the five of wands. Now, some of you, there could be a third party involved. That's not going to be everybody. But I'm also feeling here, too, that there's a lot of chemistry between you and this person. Feels like something's out of balance here, or it may be that this has been somebody who's been in and out of your life, okay, on and off type of situation here. Could be dealing with a Gemini. But I see worry here, right? Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the Four of Wands. So some of you may be, you know... You've pulled back your energy. You're wondering if this person is going to, you know, come towards you with communication for a ones. Is this, is this somebody that we're going to be able to reconcile or be in a relationship? I see you thinking a lot about this. Okay. Or are me and this person going to come together? Are we going to be on the same page? Right. The chemistry is there. The love is there too with the two of cups. But there's something, there's like a disconnect, okay? There's a disconnect here. And let me put these, these cards here because I feel like there's distance here between you and this person, okay? I'm going to move your cards because you can't see them down here. Can you see them? Oh, yeah, there it goes. All right, let's get your person's energy. What's in Virgo's person's energy? Okay, we got the Knight of Cups. Look at that. Look at that. Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. Two of Cups again, twice here in your reading. Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles and the Hierophant. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Interesting. This person's been holding back too. Both of you are mirroring each other. Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Okay, you got Taurus energy. Now, I feel like too, this could be somebody holding back. Okay, if you know you're in a third party situation... You could, this could be somebody holding back because they're giving to another relationship. Uh, I also feel here too, it could be something else here. It could be this person is very focused on their money, um, I feel here. Or there could be some sort of belief um, or something that they value that they've been giving their time and their energy to. You're going to know what it is. Uh, but... What's very interesting, Virgo, is that this is someone I feel they have love for you. It's right there, Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. I feel like this is some, some, someone, if they, it feels like they want to express that in some sort of way. You have the Nine of Pentacles and you also have the Eight of Pentacles. Now, like I said, this could be somebody who's very focused on their career and their money right now. Um... But I also sense here that this person, it does feel like there's something here about them putting the work in here. So we're going to clarify uh, these energies. I wanted to start up here because I feel like there's some sort of shift or change going on. Then we'll get to your person. Why is the tower here, please? Why is the tower here, please? 
Okay, there's that five of wands keeps showing up here. Ace of Pentacles, Six of Swords, the Hangman. And here's Five of Cups. Okay, so it feels like it, with you and this person, there was some sort of disappointment here that happened between you and this person. I really sense here that this is a connection here where either um, someone got in the way, third party situation, somebody infringed upon this connection, whether it was just drama or whether it was, you know, competition and love. But it feels like you and this person, things only went so far. Six of Swords and the Hangman. Yeah, it just feels like, um, you know, there's been delays here in this connection. And it's because something interfered here between you and this person. So I feel like it's kind of an... Um, if it's not that you and this person weren't on the same page about where you were in your life or what the two of you wanted in love, I feel like it's an external influence here. Okay, so let's see here. I feel with the world there's something changing though. Okay, you got the five of cups, seven of wands. So again, like I said, here you are, Virgo energy, seven of wands, and the five of cups. I feel like you pulled back your energy. I feel like you're focused on you here. And uh, I feel like, you know, you were very disappointed with this person. And so that's where I see here, you're kind of sitting back. And, you know, the next card was the Six of Pentacles. You're not giving any more to this connection, even though with the lovers, you have a very strong, you have a very strong uh, chemistry and even love for this person. So let's see why the world card is here. Why is the world card here, please? Why is the world card here, please? So we got the Eight of Wands, we have the Magician, Seven of Wands, Three of Swords here, okay, and we also have the Queen of Wands, the Tower, Eight of uh, Swords, the Double, and the Six of Cups, okay, let's see what we have here. This could be someone too with the world who lives at a distance or, you know, just there's distance between the two of you right now, but you got the eight of wands, you got the magician, the seven of wands. Okay. I feel like, like I said, after a period of time where you've gone through some healing, uh, definitely get an energy where I feel like you're in a better place, even though, you know, maybe you haven't heard from this person or things haven't really moved or progressed with this person. I feel like you've done some inner healing here with the seven of wands and the three of swords. I feel like you're standing up for you now. I feel like, um, you know, the world card for me is also, um, you know, like feeling on top of the world. So I feel like no matter what, for most of you, I feel like you're feeling good. I feel like you're feeling good, even though, you know, there hasn't been a whole lot of movement here. And look at this, the magician and the eight of wands. So you have um, focused that energy on you. And that's the shift that I'm seeing here. Now I see here, you're going to get some sort of communication here. Now this can also be a uh, new love energy, but I feel like this is this person here because below that, right? Remember, we have the six of cups. Right, we have the Emperor, we have the Queen of Wands, the Two of Cups, and we also have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so soulmate here, I feel, is coming back around. Okay, there's love here, they're very attracted to you, they want to work on things here. Okay, now that leads us to your person's energy. Like I said, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Two of Cups again. The nine of pentacles and the eight of pentacles so you go from the eight to the nine so they're offering something let's see why the knight of cups is here please why is the knight of cups here please okay the wheel queen of pentacles temperance wow yeah that's what i just said communication um, page of Swords, I feel like this person, they may even be keeping tabs on you or keeping an eye on you here, 
but this is someone who wants to connect with you, communicate, right? They don't want to let go of this connection because there's mutual love here. Showing that again two times here in your reading, two of cups. So you have the wheel, you have the queen of pentacles, and you have the temperance. Well, I feel like this is somebody who, this is definitely, there's been some timing that's taken this person some time, could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But I feel like this is someone who is coming towards you, wanting to find the balance here in this connection with you. There's a new cycle here is what I'm sensing. They're coming towards you. I feel here more um, more stable, uh, maybe valuing, valuing you more, seeing your worth more. Um, some of you, it could be a reconciliation. So they're seeing you in a different light, I feel, than maybe they did in the past. Okay, let's, um, I'm going to clarify this Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here, please? Knight of Cups. They've been hiding their feelings. Yeah, the Sun card and the Two of Wands here. So they've been really hiding their intentions. They've been hiding um, their feelings. Um, they, I feel like, too, this is someone who throws themselves into work to kind of forget about how they truly feel. But, you know, they can't forget. When they have a connection, when you have a connection with someone, you can't forget it, right? Two of Cups there. You got the, um, again, the Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords, Knight of Cups, and the Sun card. This is someone who's been hiding how they truly feel with you, okay? They see you as, right, the sun, a lot of peace, joy, happiness, right? The potential here of this connection here could be dealing with a Leo. So this is someone, two of ones, they've been thinking a lot about you. They've been thinking about the future, um, they've been thinking about their intentions, right? And about coming towards you. You can see this person's really holding on to this wand. And some of you, there's, you know, there is some travel distance for some of you. This may be even somebody who's been thinking about relocating, okay? Whether, you know, it's with you, you know, towards you, or maybe they're thinking about may, doing some sort of relocation in their life. All right. Let's see what else here. Okay, here I picked up the deck and here's the temperance again as well. Okay, so I feel like things are happening in perfect timing for a union here between you and this person. Let's see what else you can share with Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know? And then we're going to get some hidden truths from your person. Okay, oh boy. That was the first card that came out. We have the Eight of Swords. Let's see what comes out with that. The Five of Swords. Okay, look at that. And the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, this is what this person has been thinking about. Okay, Four, four of Swords here. The, you know, it feels like this person's been distant. You have the Eight of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. This could be someone who betrayed you or they didn't really... Um, didn't really make things clear with you about their intentions. Now they're trying to figure out how to fix this, how to fix this, how to build trust with you. Um, because I feel like with this Ace of Pentacles, this is someone now who, as I said earlier, they're seeing your worth. They see the connection they have with you. And now they're trying to figure out how do I build something with Virgo now? Because this is someone, they messed up somehow because they're trying to figure things out. They're trying to figure how do I, you know, what's the solution here is what I'm seeing here. And as I said, they've been taking a lot of time to themselves to think about things. King of Swords, King of Wands here trying to figure out what action to take and the Ace of Swords, and look, it showed up again, the Temperance, okay, so again, another confirmation here, so this is someone who is been trying to find some sort of clarity here, okay, how to fix things, basically, and or what to communicate coming towards you, trying to find the balance, right, they're trying to find their, their emotional balance here to come towards you, Wow, let's see what else comes out for you, Virgo. What else can you share with Virgo? What else does Virgo need to know? Oh, okay. 
Page of Pentacles. Well, there's the message. King of Cups. This shows me this is someone when they come towards you. They're going to open up. Um, I feel they're going to start to open up emotionally to you, but they're going to start off small here. Okay, so like I said, they want to express how they feel or say something, but they're going to start small. It's going to start right. They're going to take that step, a message there. Yeah, because there was hurt here. There was something here where there was hurt. Now, this could be this is someone who isn't very vulnerable, has a hard time opening up because of past hurts too, or the hurt can be with you. Okay, Queen of Cups, look at that. There's the counterpart. King and Queen of Cups. There's a lot of love here. Virgo, there's a lot of love here. Or feelings. Oh boy. Yeah, look at that. That confirms it. Some of you, this is your twin flame or a strong soul tie uh, here with the four of wands here. Okay. So healing a relationship here for some of you, or this is someone who sees you for the long term. Almost feels too with the hangman on the bottom of the deck. This is someone who is going through an awakening and now they're seeing you as the empress. There's the birth of something new here as well. Okay, also too, can, this person could have had to go through some karma. The hangman can also be about releasing karma. Okay, and once they release that karma, they become awakened. And now they really see, right, the beautiful you. And it's not about male or female, it's about the energy. And then here they come, Knight of Swords with communication. They're rushing in here. All right, so wow. Let's see uh, what your hidden truths are. What is this person thinking or want to say to Virgo? What is this person thinking or want to say to Virgo? Okay, I lost myself for a little while. Okay, interesting. They weren't available or they were distant with you because this is someone, like I said, it felt like they've been taking time to themselves right? They may, they may have gone through some karma, they have released it, and they're going through their transformation, they're awakening here. Oh, and as I say that, look at that, I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson, confirmation there as well. I can't stop thinking about you. And the timing, interesting. So I feel like in the past, the timing wasn't right for the two of you. Okay, so now I feel like they've had some time to really think about things. And look, um, I, I know I crossed the line with you, and I wish I could share my good news with you. This person misses your conversations, you know, talking with you, and look, I want to tell you how I feel. And that's what I, I keep getting here, too. So, wow, Virgo. I'm going to close it out with three uh, messages here. I wasn't ready, Spirit. We're going to put that back. Three messages here for you, Virgo, to close out the reading. And then we're going to go to the extended. I will look at your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, their intentions, love notes, and guidance besides what we get here. And um, again, three to four weeks energy and future love. Okay. Oh, look at that. Envelope. Surprise. Okay. So I feel like you're going to be surprised when you hear from this person. So it could be an email, a text message. Maybe they send you a letter in the mail. Uh, but something's unfolding here. You have the dog, loyalty and determination, okay? This person's determined, and look, the dog has a rose in their mouth, okay? So they're coming towards you in a loving way. Oh, look at that, romance, sweetness, and flowers. Okay, I feel like you could get a gift from this person, uh, Virgo, with this energy here, all right? Or some flowers from this person for some of you. So Virgo, I hope you enjoy this reading. I'm going to take it to the extended. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.